It's terrifying, man. Those people are terrified. In more local news tonight, a Jacksonville community on edge following a barrage of gunfire. Although police say they have a suspected shooter in custody, a witness who wants to remain anonymous says it sounded like a gun battle. Happened last night outside the Greyhound bus station. I've seen extends from the bus station along Stewart Street to Adams Street. This is located in the upcoming up and coming La Villa area of downtown Jacksonville. News for Jacksonville. The up and coming La Villa area. <laughs> It just ruined everything, man. God. They ruined everything, my G. We talking about straight pests. Niggas are Pests, okay? Niggas are pests. All right? Niggas are pests. For the first time in more than 20 years, downtown Jacksonville is welcoming new homeowners. Johnson Commons at La Villa offers walkability and access to JTA's transportation hub. The new development of affordable housing marks a significant milestone in the efforts to revitalize this historic neighborhood. News for Jack's reporter Tiffany Salome talked with homeowners who told her what are the selling points that attracted them. Bringing homeowners to downtown Jacksonville from all over the country. So this popped up and I, I said, let's take the risk. And I think it was worth it. Yeah. So this, <laughs> this popped up and I said, let's take the risk. And I think it was worth it. <laughs> oh, shit. I, I said, let's take the risk, and I think it was worth it. Yeah, so this is a lot more affordable than Charleston. Yeah, I mean, the property value, especially being in the first phase of development for a new community, uh, it's tremendous. I actually moved in on Thursday, and... Single black male, probably no kids, may, may have a baby mama somewhere, but most likely no kids. He might even be LGBT, but... You can tell he's got a nice job, well put together. You know, he's got his stuff together. You can tell this guy's got his stuff together. Moved in on Thursday, and so far the area is great. The La Villa townhomes at Johnson Commons is breathing new life into the urban core of downtown Jacksonville. It's situated right next to the new Lift Every Voice and Sing Park, the Emerald Trail, and... Lift every voice and sing part. <laughs> Lift every voice and sing until earth and heaven ring. Ring with the harmony of liberty. <laughs> God, dog, the lift every voice and sing part. You know a lot of sun men gonna get gunned down over there, man. Whoo! Bell. It's situated right next to the new Lift Every Voice and Sing Park, the Emerald Trail, and the JTA Transportation Center, making it one of the few places in the city where you might not even need a car. One of the features that I do like about it in regards to the location is the transportation that you have here. There are 91 townhomes here at Johnson Commons, and they're relatively affordable too, especially if you're a first-time home buyer. There are some incentives you might like, and prices 
start at under three hundred thousand dollars. So it's extremely hard to buy to find a new construction home for three hundred grand or less in Duval County. In fact, there was only four hundred and five homes in Duval County sold less for three hundred thousand dollars last year. According to the Northeast Florida Association of Realtors, the median home price in Duval County is three hundred and forty eight thousand dollars. The townhomes are eligible for the newly announced down payment assistance. Okay, so they trying to fix up the downtown area, man, and make it better, man. <laughs> they trying to make things better downtown Jacksonville, man, in La Villa. In more local news tonight, a Jacksonville community on edge following a barrage of gunfire. Although police say they have a suspected shooter in custody, a witness who wants to remain anonymous says it sounded like a gun battle. It happened last night outside the Greyhound bus station. Now, the scene extends from the bus station along Stewart Street to Adams Street. This is located in the upcoming, up and coming La Villa area of downtown Jacksonville. News from Jacksonville, Eric Albany joining us live from that location to explain what happened and why people say that it was so unusual to hear gunfire in that area, Eric. Well, Kent, on this side of Stewart Street, you'll notice there is a high-end furniture store that takes up practically the entire block. And then right across the street, you'll notice that uh, there are these newly built townhomes, uh, some of which are still under construction, many of which have people that have already moved in. As you said, this is an up-and-coming area. It is a very highly desirable area. And uh, for the most part, it's usually pretty quiet. However, last night, this strip was anything but quiet when bullets started flying. Shortly before 9 p.m. Tuesday, gunfire erupted in this normally quiet La Villa neighborhood. By the time News for Jacks arrived on the scene, there were already more than 30 evidence markers on the ground where detectives found shell casings. According to investigators, officers were called to this location after receiving information about someone shooting at people outside the Greyhound bus station. Officers set up a parameter and searched for a suspect who was believed to still be in the area. 23-year-old Kobe Robinson was later captured a half mile away. And I That's a rough-looking brother, man. I ain't going to lie to you, man. That's a rough-looking brother there, Jack. That's a rough looking brother, man. Yeah, man. That's a rough looking brother, Jack. I'm gonna drop the link in a minute, man. Make sure you take the $5 challenge. Make sure you support the channel. Support the channel, guys. Hit the like button, man. Do something. See how many likes we got, man. Oh, God. Yikes. 133 after an hour. Fucking Christ, man. According to investigators, officers were called to this location after receiving information about someone shooting at people outside the Greyhound bus station. Officers set up a parameter and searched for a suspect who was believed to still be in the area. 23-year-old Kobe Robinson was later captured a half mile away and identified as a suspect in the case after police say he let them on a foot chase. According to a witness who did not see the shooting but was close enough to hear the gunfire, it sounded like a gun battle. The witness asked to remain anonymous for his safety because he says others who were involved are still roaming free. Did they sound like rifles or handguns? Uh, the first one sounded like what would be a rifle, and the second one definitely was a handgun for sure. One of the rounds went through the second floor window of this townhome. Fortunately, ain't that the same thing that happened in, in Suitland, Maryland? The guns, the bullets going through people's homes. Wow. The home was still under construction. A neighbor who lives close to this unit says he also heard the gunfire, but he was too shaken up to comment about what happened. Miraculously, despite all that gunfire, no one in the area was injured. 
For that many rounds to go off and for nobody to get hit, that's actually, that's pretty crazy. That is a lot of shooting. That's a Retired lot. JSO Director of Investigations turned News for Jack's Crime and Safety Analyst Tom Hackney says he can fully understand why Tuesday night's gun violence may have left folks in this area on edge, despite no one being injured. The city has really tried so hard to get that La Villa area up and where it is. And, you know, we've got new construction there. we got people living there. we got businesses coming in there. So when you have this, this little violent drop right in there and, and it really scares people and, and, and as it should, I mean, 30 plus rounds go somewhere. They don't just disappear. They don't come out of the gun, obviously, and, you know, just go nowhere. They hit things and they hit people's houses and thank God that they didn't hit anybody else. But that is just an example of really how dangerous this, this random shooting violence can be, these, these running gun battles. Although Robinson was not charged with illegally firing a gun, he was charged with being a convicted felon in possession of a gun, armed trespassing, and resisting arrest. JSO tells News for Jax the case is still under investigation. Oh, man. Wow. 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 Shout out to Free Bougainville. Free Bougainville. Shout out to you, man. Salute the Gouch Merlot, man. He has the wide-eyed Biden expression. <laughs> Nah, man, you can say a lot about Biden, but he's Biden a different species than that guy, man. <laughs> that guy's a different species, man. <laughs> Him and Biden are from a different phylum. <laughs> they're, di they're from a different phylum, man. They're not the same, man. <laughs> Woo. We talking about we talking about a whole different species that you heard me. We talking about a whole different species there, Jack. That thing right there. That thing right there, he different, man. He different, Jack. Couch with low, no, man. That's a different, that's a whole different species, Jack. Shout out to Boy Kachina says Jack's all packed up. All jacked up. Yeah, hey, man. Jacksonville is jacked up, man. Let me the link in the description box, man. Jeez. Woo. These sun turns ain't no joke, man. They ruin everything, man. <laughs> they like locusts, man. Termites, man. Shout out to shout out to Guy Ninja, man. Guy Ninja in the building, man. On Rumble, man. Guy Ninja in the building. Shout out. These motherfuckers are like locusts. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> 